My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 36 of the 120 Days to Jam Mathematics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be introducing or I, Flash Isaac, shall be introducing variation. Variation is the branch of mathematics that studies the relationship between quantities. How quantities depend on each other. Don't confuse variation with calculus. Calculus is a branch of mathematics that studies the relationship between changes in quantity. This is what calculus studies. And the areas of calculus are limit of a function, differentiation, and integration. Sometimes you cannot get to the end of something. You just try to observe what happens as you go closer and closer and closer. That is what limits tend to tell us about. Why differentiation is to break things down, to break quantities down, to see what it's made of. And integration is to bring things together, to build them up, to see what happens as they come together. To get something that has been differentiated, you therefore integrate. Ladies and gentlemen, calculus is a very interesting topic in mathematics. And I can't, get, I can't wait to get there and I can't wait to teach you calculus. Today is variation. Relationship between things, between quantities, how quantities depend on each other. We use variation to relate two quantities, basically, or most times. You look at something. If your parents are nice and they earn 100 naira a month, with this 100 naira they earn a month, they send you 10 naira allowance. Now, what do you think will happen if the salary of your parents is now 200 naira? Now, how much do you think you will be receiving as allowance if the salary of your parents is now 50 naira? You see? Your allowance varies directly as your parents' salary, which means as since they are nice, that is constant, the increase in allowance of your parents will lead to increase in your allowance. That is, the increase in the salary of your parents will lead to increase in your allowance. If we call your parents' salary A and we call your allowance B, we can say that A varies directly as B, or A is directly proportional to B. This implies that as A is increasing, B is increasing. As A is dropping, B is dropping. That is direct variation. In mathematics, we don't solve with variation symbol or proportionality symbol. You must convert them to equal to. And anytime you convert this to equal to, you get co-constant equals K. So, anytime you see this guy, it is the same thing as equals k. This becomes a is equals k times b. We are here is proportionality sign. Now look at something else. If in the morning you drink two pure water, you are able to buy five bags of pure water. Then you wake up and they say that a bag of pure water is now 400 naira. What happens? The quantity you demand will reduce, which is as price is going up, your quantity is coming down. Especially for normal products, products that you can do without. 
for luxury products, as price increases, persons will tend to buy more. But let's deal with normal law of demand. As price increases, quantity reduces. Now, as price reduces, quantity will increase. You can see that this is an inverse relationship. As one goes up, one comes down. This is what we call inverse variation. To represent this, we can say that price is inversely proportional to quantity. This is it. And as usual, introducing equal to, this becomes P is equals K over Q. This is inverse. As one goes up, one comes down. For joint variation, it combines both direct and inverse variation. If I say A varies directly as B and inversely as C, this is how to represent it. A varies directly as B and inversely as C. And to solve, we must change this to equal to. That gives us A is equals B over C and there is K here. If I say A varies directly as B and C, it means A varies directly as B and also varies directly as C. That would be A is proportional to B and C. A is equals K, B and C. These are the various ways to represent variation. Now look at something very interesting or a possible formula that can enable you to solve direct and inverse variation. Before that, how about we see partial variation? Partial variation is a type of variation that most times leads to simultaneous equation. If I say A is partly constant, it means A is equal to K and partly varies directly as B. It means A varies directly as B. A varies directly as B means A is equal to K B. You ask yourself, it is A that is partly constant and it is the same A that is equal to K B. Combining them, you will have A is equal to K plus K B. That is partial variation for you. But since this is constant and this is another constant, to tell us that the constants are different, you call here K1 and you call here K2. Partial variation is being established. How about we are told that A is partially constant and varies inversely as B. It means A is equals K and A varies inversely as B, 1 over B. This will simply be A is equals K over B. Combining here and here, we have A is equals K plus K over B, which is A is equals K1 plus K2 over B. How about we say A or something, whatever, is partly constant and partly varies directly as B and C. That is K and K, B, C. Know how to combine them however they come. Now look at something. If A is equals K, B, it means that constant doesn't change. Constant is the value. In the case of your parents, your parents being nice is the constant. Therefore, if when they were earning 100 naira, you are paying, you are being paid 10 naira. When their salary increase, your allowance will also increase because the appearance being nice is not changing. It is constant. So it is what it is when they were earning 100 naira. It will be exactly the same thing when they are not earning 200 naira. So if constant doesn't change, we can do something like this. From A is equals KB. If we divide both sides by B, B divided by B is 1. So for direct, direct, uh, for direct variation, A over B is equals constant. Since we agree that A is the salary and B is your allowance, your parent's salary 
over your allowance will be equals constant. Now let's call this the first case. The first case is when they were any this guy. The second case will be when they are not any two hundred naira. When they are not any two hundred naira, your their salary over your allowance will also be equals constant, right? In the first case, your their salary over your allowance is equals constant. Equals they are being nice. Since they are being nice, doesn't change. When they are not any two hundred naira, the salary over your allowance will also be equals constant. Now let's differentiate these two. Let's call here a one, b one, and let's call here a two, b two. A1 is the first value of the first case. B1, the first value of the second case. A2, the second value of the first case. B1, B2 rather, the second value of the second case. Since A1 over B1 is constant and A2 over B2 is constant, constant is the same thing as constant. So, A1 over b1 will be equals a2 over b2 with this relationship let's call here a1 b1 let's call here a2 b2 let's say we don't know b2 let b2 be s or find b2 what do you do if you substitute a1 here 100 over b110 to be equals a2 200 over unknown b2 for direct variation always use this formula for direct a 1 over b1 is equals a2 over b2 where a1 is the first case b1 is the second case they will now say find this if that is that so that other case is your a2 and b2 now for inverse if p is inversely proportional to q and p is equals kq it means that p times q will be equals constant if p times q is constant p1 q1 is constant p2 q2 is also equals constant so for inverse a1, b1 will be equals a2, b2. Let me assume you don't understand the uses yet. For the next episode, you will see how useful this formula will be. In summary, for direct variation, as one quantity is increasing, the other is increasing. As one is reducing, the other is reducing. For inverse, as one is going up, the other is coming down. As one is going down, the other is coming up. Joint combines both direct and inverse variation. And partial tell us when something is partly constant and also partly varies directly or inversely as the other. So, see you in the next episode where we shall be doing application or calculations under all those things we've explained so far.